fill the void. And she even was a waitress at this little diner. And there was these two or maybe three men. And um, she was kind of, you know, sweet to them. And next thing you know, you see her in the back alley having sex with these two men. That's a very abusive looking scene. And you think, why would she do that? What's in it for her? Why would she like... And she was left like laying there ragged and abused because you know what? She could avoid the emptiness like that, right? Why do you think people cut their self externally? Because then they don't feel the emptiness on the outside. The pain comes to the... On the inside, the pain comes to the outside because they... And if for that moment... But when you're sitting there with the sound of silence, with those, those addictions surging through your body, that is when they can be released. It is almost like you visualizing a demon being released as you walk through that. And you feel, F-E-E-L, the reality of that instead of filling, F-I-L-L, yourself up with the dope again. Whatever that is for you. You know, picture those demons actually leaving your body in those moments. Do you realize the epitome of control over your life that could give you? If you don't do that, there's a lot of 12-step programs. There's a lot of all these things. And they can show you how to replace. And they can talk about your feelings. And they can give you some hand-holding. But unless you're willing to sit with the sound of silence and let those addictions leave your body, you're just sweeping them under the rug. And they're still there. Emotional mastery, people don't want to do it because it is mentally challenging. No one wants to hear this, nobody wants to talk about it, and nobody wants to think about it. It's emotionally draining and it's emotionally challenging and it takes emotional maturity to do it. Which is a thing you can gain and I can gain. Most people don't want to do it. Every addict, when going through a detox, looks for something to soothe, right? To soothe your emotions. This is why people don't understand that when you go on a raw diet and you're not doping yourself down with cans and cans of nuts, all these different things, you don't understand why that feels uncomfortable. You're physically full, right? But nothing's doping down your mind. And you start to notice that this is a different terrain. It's the same terrain, though. Why is it different? It's the same hubby, though. Why does he seem different? This is the same job, though. Why am I noticing it doesn't work for me? Because your mind's clearing in your heart and soul and spirit. Every addict looks for the coping instead of releasing, muting down, doping down, addicting down, instead of releasing out. Because it takes emotional labor. And there's nothing easy about that. That's not the easy button. That's the button and the narrow road to actually get you to a different level and get me to a different level. I don't want to be the same. But instead of dealing with that, looking for something to emotionally numb you down so you do not have to deal with the labor of that, but there's no recovery in the muting down. It is the avoidance of 
the feeling of emptiness that caused the addiction in the beginning. But you're looking for something to avoid the feeling of emptiness, which is what caused the addiction in the beginning. You must learn to embrace the sound of silence and the feeling of emptiness as joy. What do you think? Hardcore addicts to um, people that are really hardcore addicts tend to avoid emotional labor at all cost. It equals addiction. Are you fine with being fine? Or do you want more? You can do nothing or you can do the emotional labor. Most of the time with our addictions, we want quick fixes. This is avoidance. This is why addiction occurs again in different areas or the same area. It controls our whole life. It's necessary to release addiction. Do nothing. It's that time of day. Breathe into the moment. Breathe in for four. Hold it there. And release. Release the addictions, you know? Mindfulness in the moment. This can create emotional wealth. We can cultivate this. We're not just born with it. I mean, just like I was saying, a lot of the 12-step programs and stuff, they can be helpful, you know? Um, they can give you some, some replacements. They can give you some emotional support, um, friends that understand, but it may be lacking the big picture. You know what I mean? Instead of just replacing, embracing the feeling of emptiness. Has anybody got anything to say about that? You know, before I read that, I really just thought about that. Um, it's been so many things that <clears throat> raw food has allowed me to experience putting in my body only what is needed and eliminating everything that isn't. And just like I told you, I wanted to think about some things last week and I wanted to, and so I didn't eat because I know and the feeling of emptiness and the sound of silence is where questions are answered and growth takes place. You know? Very uncomfortable meditating. Exactly. So that's the main things I wanted to talk to y'all about today. Sun-dried tomatoes. Clean water. The importance of not skipping meals. The difference in a gigantic 1,400 calorie meal of fruit and a 550 calorie meal of fruit and greens and how the fruit and greens has so much more nutrient density to it. And I wanted to talk about addiction and I want to say I love you. I love you. You all represent hope, do you know? 
You represent people trying to break through old patterns. You may be sitting in this group and you may be, here we are, <clears throat> two and a half weeks in, towards the end of the, the second week. Uh, we're in our third week. And you may still be doing your things that it's okay. You had to think about it. But what about now? What about today? You start putting into play all the knowledge you've been gathering. And you start really, you show up at the pool. What if today you really get in? We're here. You have your floaties on. You have your tools. You have your tricks and your tips of how to do it. And you're going to move through emotional detox. Right? I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I would love to see in the group anybody that wants to post things that they have really overcome like that. And how you enjoy sitting with the sound of silence, you know? I love you. <laughs>